Hello and welcome to another Stellarian Games video. We're going to continue our theme this time in making the sand sailing vessels. Uh, this one is going to be the largest of the sand sailing vessels. This is kind of the the, the captain ship, the largest ship um, of the fleet. Um, it is equipped with the same ballistas on the front, uh, but with a much larger ballista up on the, the front side as well. All of these ballistas are attached with magnets, so they're easy to take on and off if you need to. Uh, the back side has kind of an upper deck uh, for the captain or the, the steersman to, uh, to steer the ship. It has the same um, gripping rudders as the other one. Uh, it also has a removable sail in case this does get in the way of play. We can have that removed. Um, fairly simple design, but I like the, the size of it. Uh, for the sand vessels, this is a, a pretty cool variation. So, let's go to the table and see how this one is done. Okay, for this project, we're going to start by sketching out the uh, pontoons for the sand skiff on some thicker paper, some cardstock, and just drawing out a rough sketch of how big I wanted each of those side uh, pontoon sections, and then cut those out with the scissors so that I could use that to trace onto some of the styrofoam and have kind of an exact uh, match for both sets. Just tracing that on with the pencils that I can see where I'll need to cut on the hot wire cutter. Then cutting out those shapes uh, so that they have the, the silhouette of those shapes on the hot wire cutter. This is all freehand, so the um, hot wire ends up being a little wavy. Um, and then I'm also cutting out a section for the middle boat section. I'm using a knife and carving away the front of the boat section. And initially I had thought that I was going to use that whole boat part in the middle, just kind of floating there. Um, I'm also carving the sides at an angle for the, the pontoon sections as well. I realized that that hot wire was a little bit too wavy, so I'm just using a little bit of sandpaper and flattening off that top. Using a pencil, and I'm um, drawing in the board lines for the, the timber of this uh, pontoon, both on the top and along the sides. And then I'm using a fine wire brush to add in some of the wood grain uh, to the sides of the boat as well as the, the top. Using a pencil, I'm going in and adding some cross sections of the boards where the boards are meeting, as well as putting in some uh, small nail holes uh, next to each of those joins. I'm just cutting out some cardstock and folding it in half and forming the bottom metallic um, angles along the bottom. This is where the pontoons will come in contact with the ground. Again, these are meant to be kind of magically enhanced so that they reduce friction. Now for that middle boat section, I ended up um, not liking the shape of that because it felt too bulky to me for this kind of a skiff. So I went to the hot wire cutter and, and cut out a little bit more um, interesting shape to it. I'm adding a little bit of uh, front detail to those um, pontoon sections. This is the uh, kind of the front edge, leading edge of that pontoon, just to have it a little bit more decorative. Adding some glue and gluing that into place as well. Now I'm using that pencil and adding the top edge of the boat section this is where people will primarily be standing and adding some uh, wood decoration making it look a little bit more ornate than some of the prior ones using that wire brush for the texture again and adding nail holes Next, I use some dowels and glue those into place on the bottom. This is going to be the 
section that holds uh, the two uh, pontoons in place. And now carving the upper mast section and hot gluing that into place. Just letting that harden up a little bit and then using some hot glue and poking that into the styrofoam should uh, harden up fairly strong and in place. This is going to be for the actual sail section. I wanted this to be kind of an X-frame sail, a little bit different. Um, so I'm just taking two dowels and using string and glue and kind of wrapping it together and that's how I ended up joining it. With the glue kind of um, soaked into that string, it'll end up forming a really nice, strong, uh, firm bond in the middle. Now tracing that onto some uh, paper towel, cutting out the actual sails with some tabs to wrap around and, and join to the um, dowels. Gluing those tabs into place, that's what's actually going to hold the sail. And then hanging it on some wire, I'm putting some watered down PVA glue onto the sail so that it'll have a little bit more uh, rigidity. And I realized I didn't really want that leading mass to be quite as long, so I cut that off on the saw. And then adding some more string to form the detail, as well as some strength to the piece. That string with glue really does add a lot of strength to the actual model. Now getting ready to glue those pontoons into place. Just using hot glue for now. And then working on the raised upper deck of the rear, just kind of cutting it out on some scrap styrofoam. Uh, or, or at least measuring it out and then taking to the hot wire cutter and, and cutting as much as I can to uh, to fit as well as I can. I wanted this to be a little bit more ornate, so I'm adding some really different features on how it's going to attach to the boat, cutting out those circular shapes, and then also cutting um, the whole thing into more of an arched shape to, to reduce the weight as well as give it kind of a flying uh, would look. These are the side sections that will attach down to the boat. And then cutting out the back a little bit too to reduce weight and give it a little bit more of that airy feel. And then along the sides, cutting those out so it'll just have a couple boards coming down and connecting to the ship. I'm tracing that onto another uh, section of styrofoam for the railing. I'm just coming along and tracing, giving that a little bit of depth so I can cut that out on the hot wire cutter as well. This is the outer cut, and then I'm going to come back and cut in the inner cut of that railing. Then I'm going to cut in the um, arches and um, railing sections. I cut it in half just to make all of that cutting a little bit um, easier rather than trying to do it in one section. I wanted to be able to do it on the hot wire cutter, so I cut the, the railing in half. Now tracing on some wood grain onto the upper deck as well. Not sure why I switched to pen on this, um, but it ends up showing up a little bit better on the video with the, the pen instead of the pencil. Then I'm using the pencil and adding the wood grain and ready to glue the, the back section into place. As I was attaching the back section and then attaching that last railing, I realized that it wasn't going to be very easy, so I added some pins to the railings. Um, but then I also decided to add pins to those um, lower leg sections as well. So I went ahead and pinned all of those and um, actually would leave the pins in place and just cut the excess off when I'm done.
now starting to work on the front nose of the boat this will be the the front railing section to that middle portion of the ship just adding some detail to it to give it a little bit more flair now tracing in the railing edge as well as where i want uh, the cutouts for the the railing um, poles for this i'm using the knife to cut it in shape it a little bit and also cut in those um, raised sections um, because i didn't want to cut this one in half the hot wire cutter wouldn't work very well But with a very sharp exacto, uh, this works pretty simply. Add a little texture with a pencil, and then it'll be ready to glue into place. Now I'm using a side cutter to uh, just cut those pins that I had poked through off so that they don't uh, have any sharp edges left. But they'll leave the pin heads on top, which adds just a little bit more detail. Now I'm gluing on uh, the brackets that hold the dowels in place. Now those dowels were already hot glued, so this is a little bit of extra uh, structure, but uh, really more decoration uh, to show that it's functional. I'm poking pins through uh, to add some rivets to the side as well. And now I'm cutting out small circles to add some magnets. So I'm just gluing some magnets into place along there. Those will be for um, some ballistas that I'm going to put in place later on. And I wanted those to be movable, removable. Um, so just adding magnets to make that possible. I'm cutting just a small wooden um, bobbin piece out and uh, gluing that into place. This will be used as kind of a, uh, a place where the chain rubs for the, the steering mechanism. Gluing another one of those into place on the sail so that I could make that a removable item uh, rather than a permanent fixture. Figured that would be nice for playability. Now I'm using the black paint and Mod Podge method, just coating the whole thing to give it a bla uh, base coat in black. And once that's complete, I'm uh, dry brushing onto the black sail. The sail I spray painted black. And then I'm using some white paint and dry brushing that on to make the sails. For the boat itself, I'm using a dark brown um, kind of overcoat and coating the whole thing. And then for the sails, I'm using a smaller brush to do the brown items to pick out the, the wood on those dowels. Make that a little bit cleaner looking. Then I'm coming along with some raw sienna and doing a dry brush to pick out the wood grain and give it the color tone that I was looking for. And including that on the wood on the, sa the sail itself. Then I'm using some uh, bronze and painting those metallic sheets along the bottom and uh, also the brackets that hold it to the different components of the the boat i like that bronze look uh, it seemed like a nice uh, magical i don't know fantasy color um, but for the bottom edge i'm also going to use a little bit of steel and kind of dry brushing that along that friction edge uh, kind of showing that that's well-worn and um, a little bit different than the rest of that bronze. All right, so that is the construction portion and the painting of the ship itself. Um, I'm gonna make a separate video for all of the extra items on the ship, the uh, screen for the, the decking and the ballistas themselves. So stay tuned for a second video. 
If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe, and we'll see you again next time. Thank you.